Anyway, as far as field theory, we only have uh, we have uh, two field modalities, and we have one field. There is only one field. And we think in terms of electrostatics, like dielectricity. We think in terms of magnetic field, electrical, and then we think of gravitational field. But ultimately, I hope to make this really fast and simple for you to understand it. That there's only one field, and there's the loss of that field, as expressed by magnetism, i.e. the loss of inertia, because there's only two principles that use rule the entire universe. Force in motion and inertia and acceleration. Well, how do you tie all four of them together rationally? Now, actually, let me show you this. Now, as you've seen underneath the ferrule cell, a magnet, doesn't matter what shape it is, looks exactly like this. It looks like a, a torus. It looks like a, a reciprocal, of course, most people can't visualize that. I can, reciprocating processional hyperboloid, which sounds complicated, but it's divinely simplex. Now, you see this spirograph-like hypertrochoidal pattern. We're able to get it over to the camera better to show it to you in a slightly uncompressed fashion. There you go. You actually see a torus, a toroid, a spirograph, a hypertrochoid. That's the expression of the loss of inertia. Now, as Faraday called magnetism, he called it the dielectric field. But what does that mean specifically? It means that the necessitated loss of inertia, i.e. the ether, must be expressed as the creation of space, and of course the posterior attribute of the creation of space is a measure of movements of magnitude, which we call time, but of course time does not exist. Time is a human contrivance. Um, here we have dielectricity with absolutely no manifestation. There's a linear propagation. Now, we think of a single point, i.e. the ether, as being unmanifest. A longitudinal propagation, such as found in electromagnetism, i.e. radio or regular light, obviously has a longitudinal pulse between each waveform of the, electricity, of the electrical uh, value and the magnetic value of the waveform of the transverse electromagnetism. Now here we have electricity, which, by the way, is 5 times 5 Q and Planck electrification. Electricity is nothing other than the hybrid of electricity and magnetism operating together, which is found in, obviously, frequency and amplitude, constantly pulsing back and forth like this. So we have one field, one release of that field potential, i.e. the loss of that inertia, as expressed as in force and motion, and we have two field modalities, one being electricity, okay, frequency and amplitude, and the other one being gravity, which is a dielectric condensate. We have a nucleus, okay, right here we have tons of magnetodielectric space created, okay, space is not a thing, space is neither a field nor a force, space acts on nothing, space does nothing, this is the ultimate brain virus and huge flaw that Tesla says over and over again, as well as others of general relativity, is reified space as something that does something. It's like saying a shadow has done something, or a, you know, a shadow is the absence of something, okay? The absence of inertia, which is considered the central point here, which is not a point, it's even prior to a point, that the loss of that inertia is expressed in force and motion, leaves behind it a wake that us humans and our stupidity, all of us, call space, okay? We live in it, we breathe in it because we're all existential beings, but that space is neither a field nor a force. It does nothing, it acts on nothing.